Mike Proctor played little international cricket, and in seven tests he averaged a modest 25.11 with the bat, though he took 41 wickets at 15.02. As a bowler, Proctor came at you like a raging bull. He was full on, bustling towards the batsman with a determined glint in his eye. At the point of delivery he was very front on, not unlike Malcolm Marshall, and he seemed to bowl off the wrong foot, the ball seemingly coming on to you in a big rush. His pace was around Marshall's, but usually Proctor's deliveries came in to the right-hander. He bowled huge, dipping in swingers and clever leg cutters. In England in 1972, Proctor completed an unusual hat-trick, in that though the ball was bowled from around the wicket, every batsman was plumb LBW. As a youngster Proctor spent a season on the Lord's ground staff with Barry Richards, another player who was denied a long and successful test career with South Africa. Proctor knew that apartheid in his country would prevent him from playing any more than his seven tests, and his ultimate became first-class cricket, mostly for his beloved adopted county of Gloucestershire. In 401 first-class matches he scored 21,936 runs at 36.01 with 48 hundreds and a highest score of 254. He also took 14-17 wickets at 19.53, with 70 bags of 5 wickets in an innings and 15 lots of 10 wickets in a match. Though he didn't play a lot of test cricket but his first-class record is incredible enough to warrant his inclusion as one of the best all-rounders ever. Proctor reckoned his loss of a long and successful test career was little compared with the suffering of 40 million non-whites in South Africa. In April 1971, Nelson Mandela was spending his seventh year in a cell at Robben Island, just across the water from Cape Town, where a cricket match between Transvaal and the rest of South Africa was about to start at Newlands. The players knew the John Borster government had decreed that it would prevent the South African selectors from picking a non-white player in the national team for the coming tour of Australia. After one ball, four players, Proctor, Graham and Peter Pollock and Dennis Lindsay, walked off the field and issued a press statement supporting the selection by merit regardless of skin color. From that moment Proctor and the others could walk tall forever. 